Hi YouTube, it's Kathy, and welcome to my Read Athon TBR. The great thing about summer is there's still light out when I get home, and my roommate is away at Shakespeare rehearsal. Hooray for filming, not first thing in the morning. As you might know if you've been here for a while, I am Canadian. I know it's hard to tell sometimes because I spend a lot of time traveling to the States for things like VidCon, but all that really means is things are way more expensive when I get there. There's a group of lovely Canadian booktubers who came up with this readathon, and I laughed so hard at the title of it because A. Canada Day is coming up. It is on Sunday, July 1st this year, and this readathon starts that day and goes all the way to the next Sunday. The point, of course, of this readathon is to read Canadian authors. There are five challenges for this readathon, so I'm going to let you know what they are, then I'm going to tell you what I'm reading for them. And in true Kathy fashion, because I like to go into my books without knowing a whole lot about them, I'm not going to be able to tell you too much about them besides they fit the challenges. But I will, of course, be able to tell you all about them in the weekly wrap-up that they end up in. Yeah, I feel like I should be wearing red right now. One second. It is way too warm for this, but we're going with it. Speaking of red, the first challenge is a book with red on the cover. The second challenge is a book with A in the title, or on the cover in some manner. The third challenge is a female Canadian author. The fourth challenge is an Indigenous Canadian author. And the fifth challenge is to read from a province you've never been to before. I managed to get my TBR down to three books that fit all five challenges. The first one is Walt by Russell Wigersky. This one is obviously red on the cover, and this one is also set in Newfoundland. From my brief understanding of looking up what it was about, this is a thriller and I'm down for it. I'd also like to point out that I pretty much had to read a book from Newfoundland because that's the only province I haven't been to, although I assume we're including territories and I haven't been to any of the territories. So if it had been down to that, I could have picked something from a territory. My second book is Monkey Beach by Eden Robinson, and this checks off female author as well as indigenous author. I actually have absolutely no idea what this book is about. Funny story about how I ended up acquiring this book is that I was on the bus with a co-worker and we were talking about books and I remembered she had talked about this book. So I went into a local bookstore a few weeks later and saw it on the bargain table for really cheap. I decided to pick it up. And then something that has never happened before happened. I came home and within a day or so I realized that my roommate already had this book. My roommate doesn't read books. If it's not Shakespeare, a different play, or Harry Potter, I didn't expect to find it on his part of the bookshelf. But this was clearly something he picked up for university, so we have two copies. Again, because I hate going into things already knowing what's going to happen, I'm just going to read the first sentence of the synopsis on the back of the book, that way I'm not going into it with too much knowledge. Tragedy strikes a native community when the Hill family's handsome 17-year-old son Jimmy mysteriously vanishes at sea. I'm already sold, that's all I need to know. And the final challenge is to find a book with A somewhere on the cover. Now I think Natasha was saying we could cheat and say that if it just has an E and an H somewhere on the cover, that could work. And although I'm sure both of those books have E's and H's on the cover, at least somewhere, maybe on the back in blurbs, whatever, they don't have it right next to each other like E, H. So because I like to embarrass myself with my perfectionism, I decided to pick up A to Z, which is a children's picture book. This is an alphabetic, fun-filled tour of Canada. I'm kind of excited, actually. So there we have it, my teeny tiny TBR for the Read A Thon. How about you? Are you participating? Let me know down in the comments below. On the way down in the comments, if you hit that subscribe button, that would be very nice of you. You can like and share this as you see fit, and I will see you very soon. Bye. Bye.